What a pleasure tonight. I got a chance to talk to Oakland's own Ivan Rabb. Went to high school at Bishop O'Dell, college at Cal for two years. And now this is his second year in the league with the Memphis Grizzlies after being a second round draft pick last season. He's still trying to get his feet under him for the, in the NBA and figure out where he can really make an impact in the league. And he is still a young player. He's 21 years old now, so he still has some time to mature and work on his game. Ivan Rabb in his second year of Bay Area product. How's his progress been? That's been good. I mean, you look at the week that he had um, last week when he was with the G League team, um, you know, we see progression there. Um, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that Ivan is an NBA player. Uh, and through this season, at some point in time, he'll get an opportunity to show it. We're here at Ivan Rabb, Oakland native, now second year with the Grizzlies. First of all, welcome back home. It's always great to see you. Yeah, how, how has it been this year, your second year now, kind of knowing how things work with a, a long season that the NBA has to offer? Uh, so far, it's been it's been good. I mean, we win a lot of games. Um, it's been a lot better season so far than it was last year. Um, it's just fun to be around a winning program. You know, I'm still trying to find my way personally. Um, I'm just working hard, trying to stay ready. You never know when I'll get my opportunity. I just want to be ready for that day. And he's been getting some playing time tonight. He played a little over five minutes and scored two points in front of his home crowd here in Oakland. And he did get some time in the G League this season. He said that it's been helping him though, really improve and polish his game. Does the G League give you an opportunity being able to play more and really just develop your, your skills? Yeah, no question. Um, I definitely get a chance to go out there and um, kind of worry free. Just get to go out there and play, do the things I've been working on and um, see how they how to translate to the game. And, um, so far it's been it's been great for me. I've been shooting the ball from outside, uh, at a high clip, um, finishing inside, passing the ball, doing a little bit of everything and I'm just showing my all around game. Fun. You've always been a, a big rebounder, especially on the offensive end. Yeah. Coach mentions how, you know, that's really one of the focuses for the team now. Is that something where you can really feel like you can oh, help yeah. improve? Of course. I feel like I feel like every time I get in the game, I get a chance to get an offensive rebound at least. Or um, a rebound in some type of way. Offensive, defensive, doesn't really matter. I just want to get out there and, um, and grab them. Um, help my team win. So I, I definitely think that's one of my best skills. He's a natural rebounder, uh, whether it be in traffic, uh, or on the offensive glass as well. So uh, he's definitely a guy we feel like can help us there. And then what other things are you trying to work on personally? Is there any focus in that? Um, right now my focus has been um, outside shooting. I'm um, shooting three from the corners and the top of the key. Uh, in the D-League, I'm shooting really well. Um, practice, I'm shooting really well. I haven't um, gotten a chance to take one in the game uh, in a while, but um, I'm confident and I'm ready to do it. And um, that's, that's kind of what I've been working on. Great. And then off the court, obviously, there's a lot of demands in the NBA, but there's also a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. How do you balance your time and time management? And yeah. as you get older, you, you know, got a lot of people trying to pull you yeah, in different no directions. Uh, I just kind of <laughs> take my time to free my mind from the best from the, from the game a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, maybe catch up, talk on the phone a little bit to my friends and my family. Um, kind of do anything I can to, to get my mind away from it because we spend so much time uh, working at it. Uh, also. Um, I break down a little, a little bit of film, uh, play some video games, and stuff like that. Just try to have fun and um, get my mind up. Away from that a little bit. And a product of Bishop O'Dell, then Cal. Yeah. What would you say to some uh, Bay Area youngsters that are trying to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, just stay, stay the course. I mean, it's not always easy. It's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. Um, I mean, you can't expect anything to be easy, especially when you're trying to make it to this level. Uh, also, to my Cal Bears, we gotta. Um, Got to keep improving, uh, win some games. I saw Paris hit the game winner the other night, so that was big. Uh, that hit home, you know, that's my best friend, so that was huge. And I'm um, just trying to get some wins for, for that organization, get some wins for this one. And I'm um, talking to young kids out there. I mean, it, it can be done. You see me, I come from East Oakland, uh, grew up here pretty much all my life, and um, it can be done. So let me just stay focused, have fun with it, and um, work hard. Great. Last thing, when you talk about hard work, and obviously to get to this level it takes a lot, what does that look like for you on the daily? I just really I come in in the morning early, do my treatment, go to practice, 
practice, stay after practice, um, go home, relax a little bit. And I like to come in at like 11, 12 o'clock at night um, and get my work, get my shots up, do what I have to do, uh, fly trainers in, do different things like that. So I'm, I'm always ready. Uh, I think that's why I'm improving so much and I'm just waiting on my opportunity now. Great. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate it. It's always good to see you and good luck for the rest of the season. All right. Thanks a lot. For KDOL Sports, I'm Brendan Anderson. We'll catch you on the rebound.